This video will cover how to use virtual desktops, also called spaces, in macOS. Virtual desktops are a great way to organize your digital workspace if you are working on multiple things at once and don't want to deal with too many open windows at the same time, or if you prefer not to minimize windows and instead like each window or group of windows to have their own workspace. To start, we will tap the Mission Control key on the keyboard. Or, if you don't have one on your keyboard, you can click the Control key plus the up arrow key. This opens up Mission Control. From here, you can see any windows you may have open on your current desktop space. And then, along the top, you can see all your desktop spaces. Currently, we only have one open, so let's go ahead and open another by selecting the plus button at the top right. Once we do that, we see a new desktop space appear. You can create up to 16 different spaces in macOS. However, we will just use two in this video to keep it simple. Now we can select Desktop 2 to go to that new space. We can use each space for whatever we would like. Let's go ahead and use this space for web browsing. Now let's go back to Mission Control and select Desktop 1. Here we can open up some other applications that we would like to work on separately from the web browser. Let's go ahead and open up System Preferences, our Calendar, and then the App Store. If we wanted to move any of these applications from Desktop 1 to Desktop 2, we can easily do that from Mission Control. Once in Mission Control, all you need to do is drag the application you wish to move to Desktop 2. Let's move the System Preferences. Now when we select Desktop 2, we can see the web browser along with our System Preferences. Opening Mission Control every time we want to switch between desktop spaces can be a bit tedious. To avoid this, we can use keyboard shortcuts. By selecting the Control key, plus the left or right arrow keys, we can switch between desktop spaces much more quickly. Control plus the left arrow key moves us to a desktop space to the left of our current one, and Control plus the right arrow key moves us to a desktop space to the right of our current one. Lastly, if we would like to close a desktop space because we have either finished working in it or would like to consolidate our windows, we can easily do so by opening Mission Control and then hovering over the desktop space we wish to close. Once an X appears at the top left of the thumbnail, we can select that to close the space. Then we can select Desktop 1 to return. And that's how to use virtual desktops in macOS. Thanks for watching! If you found the video helpful, consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this, and be sure to check out our website, whatthetech.io.